Is the situation on the roads any better? Just, uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shut-eye last night, and... Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something, and... But, I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon, probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Yeah. I need to get something in my stomach, or I won't make it out of here alive. You'll be forever grateful for baked beans. Right, let's see where we gotta go. So, search for food in the... ...kitchen area. Sit close to the kitchen anyway. Nicole? Irving? Uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty sure about that. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, well that's the dining room, so...
fight. This is where we're at. Looks like a fucking mortuary in here, man. There's some food, but it looks moldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Take a look there. Okay. Okay, there's a squeezer. Oh fuck me, hey. I'm gonna You kidding? Be a problem with the fridge door. Just make sure it doesn't. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait. What did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit! I'm a freaking space cadet. Yeah. I could have died in there. Mugledge. Uh-huh. 
Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. He oh, tried to make it? He called what do you mean he tried to make miles. it? Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word, and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, Fuck. start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most damaged. Please, only call me if you've got good news. All work is all play makes Jenny a dull girl. Alright, see where we're going. Uh, second floor first. Where are we on the second floor? No. Yeah, we're going up the second floor. What the fuck? I wish we could stay in this place forever. And ever, and ever. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. I'm gonna find a creepy woman in a bathtub now, am I? Fuck was that noise? I just heard something. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that... mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the west wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Hello? You there? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. 
I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Is something wrong? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Fuck. So. Yeah. Hello? Who is this? Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. Is this a joke? Who is this? What, you think you can call my house and threaten me? Come tell me to my face, asshole! at me? I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. What? Who? It, it was a bad connection. W what did they want? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, the genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them.
So we're on day three 